What's going on everybody? This is Mortem. And as I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, there was one thing in particular I found that the game doesn't do the best job of explaining. You can figure it out, of course, like any other game, but it can be a bit of a pain. So I wanted to go ahead and go through it with you guys, and that is the class and the job system. Now, it's worth noting that in this particular game, your professions are also considered classes. As you can see here, uh, if you want to be a weaver, an alchemist, a culinarian, a blacksmith, all of that stuff, it falls into a category of its own class. You level it up on the same scale, uh, 0 to 60, that you do all of the other classes. And as you can see here, they are divided into the Disciples of War, which is, of course, your physical classes, Disciples of Magic, which is your mages and all that, obviously, and the Disciples of Hand and the Disciples of Land, which is gathering, and then Disciples of the Hand is all of your actual professions where you make things. Now, from there, you can actually be any of these. You pick one at character creation for for battle, which is your Disciples of War or Disciples of Magic. You have to pick one of those at character creation because that's what you're actually fighting with. While you can use these other professions, you can't actually fight with them while you're in them. They don't have any abilities that allow you to do that. It's just meant to be kind of like a unique way to have a, prof to have a profession system. So, you pick one of these, and then after you get that initial one to level 10, you can pick up all of the others. Every other class you can get on one character. For instance, I picked the Pugilist to start with, and then I also have the Lancer at 15. Now, besides the obvious perks of doing that, there are a couple others. When you have more than one class at a certain level, you will get certain little abilities that actually affect every other class. Like, for instance, as a Pugilist, I can use either Faint or Keen Flurry from the Lancer, provided I've actually learned it from being that class for a time. And as you can see here, I've picked up Keen Flurry from the Lancer class, and I can use it while I'm in the Pugilist class. Now that in and of itself is not the most complicated thing in the world, but they decided to take it one step further than that. As you level up your class, starting at level 1 and then in increments of 5, so at 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and finally 30, you will get classes, well, I mean, you will get quests for the specific class you are in. Now, once you finish the level 30 class quest for Pugilist, just because that's the one I did, so that's what we're going to go with, Another quest will open up at the Pugilist Guild, but it also required me to be a level 15 Lancer. So I had to have level 30 as a Pugilist and level 15 as a Lancer before I could pick it up. But once I picked up that quest, it led me on the acquisition of a Soul Crystal. And what the Soul Crystals do is allow you to pick up an extra job, which if you remember the games, it's a slightly more specific class. So, before I go any further, I want to say that every job crystal is specific to the class that it comes from. So if I want to use the monk crystal and be a monk, I have to have the pugilist class activated. They are tied together. So, being a level 32 pugilist, it will also make me a level 32 monk, provided I have the soul crystal equipped. And then from there, obviously it's not just for the sake of calling myself a monk. If I go up here to job, it gives me extra abilities as I level it up. So right now I only have rock breaker, which is a slightly different variation of a pugilist skill. Now, while it might initially seem like, well, you would obviously want to pick up one of the jobs, that's not necessarily so for this reason here. If I am just a Pugilist, if I do not have the Soul Crystal equipped, 
then rather than one out of three, as you can see here, I can actually choose up to six basic, well, passive abilities usually. Um, you, you activate them, but they're not necessarily tied to that class is the best way to put it. So for the Lancer, this is the two I have unlocked because I'm a level 15 Lancer. There are others. But I could choose up to six other options rather than just three if I don't have this Soul Crystal. For instance, if I take it off, now I can pick six of those passive abilities rather than just one. And as you can see, the job grayed out because I no longer have that crystal on. But as soon as I pick it back up, because I am a Pugilist, I can put the Monk on whenever. I don't have to switch classes or anything. It gives me the job back, but it cuts those additional abilities I can use from other classes in half. So, there it is, guys. Uh, it's an interesting system. It's definitely unique to Final Fantasy XIV. I mean, I enjoy it, but... It's, uh, it's very different from what I'm used to. As I imagine it is for most people. So, if you have any other questions that those particular things didn't answer, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. But if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a good day.